Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here from Nelson So Free. Today, let's get into a video all about um, how I'm going to be using a Cree cut to make something. So I thought lots of you want to know how I do all these tricky little things um, on my computer for labeling and so on. Today, we won't be talking about labeling, but I'll be talking about how you want to get your logo or your image onto a product. So as most of you know, um, I'm actually organizing the Australian Soapery and Candle Conference. And apart Part of that is um, you know merchandising and putting a few things together so before I actually go to another you know graphic designer or something I'm going to give it a go myself to see if I even like how it's going to look so for this I've just got you know just a clipboard um, only like three dollar clipboard or something which I'm going to put my label kind of on the bottom of here just so that it uh, looks good so for this you need obviously you know your computer it can be a laptop or whatever you like a Cree cut machine and then literally if none of you have used a Cree cut machine all you do is you just you know open your machine up obviously you, you would have like done all of um, downloading the Cree cut because you need that into your computer then you're just going to connect the cord from the Cree cut to the um, computer so they can talk to each other and then from there, there's a few things you need so Cree cut sell these uh, particular like papers so it's a vinyl this is actually vinyl this one's not a printable vinyl what it actually does is it will sort of cut the silhouette of whatever pattern or you know numbers or letters that you want it to cut and so my idea is to just do a little silhouette in the corner and it's going to go onto this clipboard just to make it set you know set the scene and for the conference we do kind of have like a lot of blush and apricot colors so that's why i'm doing that and then to do this you also need one of these cree cut mats and all it is is it comes with this sticky bit you just peel this bit off and underneath this bit here is sticky and so then the vinyl sticks on it and it um, actually stops it moving when it's cutting on the machine because in here this little machine here has little cutters and these cutters are going to be cutting right through this so that you know we can do um, exactly what we want to do and make this one look gorgeous and then um, there is like a little picking tool that you can buy with Cree Cut, which I do have and I'll show you after. And then you're just going to pick out all the little bits that you don't want because obviously it cuts the bit. So if there was like, you know, um, for instance, a little bit under a person's arm that you didn't want to show, you just remove that with the little Cree Cut and then, um, you know, I'll show you the next process after. But anyway, let's get going and I'll actually do all this for you today. That way you can see exactly how i've done it and i do apologize everybody um for not giving you um extra videos i try as you know to give three or four but at the moment like i said i'm busy organizing this conference um which is taking up you know at least 10 hours of my day at the moment and my gorgeous dad is coming to stay with me or he has been staying with me for a number of weeks now so um my brother and i sort of share care of him so anyway so that that's why i've been so busy at the moment but i promise i will come out with some more videos oh and also i've actually run out of shea butter and cacao butter so i've ordered some more and of course with covid we just need to wait don't we until that comes back in so but anyway hopefully you guys love this video today and i've bought you something that you sort of thought oh gee i really wanted to do that and didn't know how but anyway let's get going and um i'll show you exactly the process all right, everyone, so I do have my computer on and open, and this bit here that you'll see at the start, this is um, shows you just a bit about my work in the background, and whatever work you're doing, it will show you that as well. So all we're going to do is start with a new project. So we've got our project up and going on here. I'll just open the screen a little so you guys can see a little bit more. And I'm not going to pretend I'm someone big in IT because I am not. Um, I've taught myself this the hard way because I really, I'm not that good on um, these kind of things. But like uh, most of you know, I have studied interior design and a part of that is this kind of thing. So you're just going to upload whatever image you actually want to work with. So, um, you know, so I'm just going to go into here and this will go into your normal computer. So whatever you've got saved on your um, computer, um, just bring that up. So on here, I do actually have some saved and I do also have this one in a white background. So I'm just going to find that one, which is here. And I'm just so this is my image I want to use today, which is on the screen. So I'm just going to click on that. If you click complex, it's definitely the best one to use. Basically, simple means it's not going to give you all the details that's on um, my little bit of paper here and so on. So 
that's why we actually do need this and you know if you're doing something like this image as you can see it's got a lot of text and things you might actually decide that you don't want all that text I am actually going to take some of it out and mostly have the flower and the girl's head along with um, candle and soap next to it um, because you know having this whole thing at the bottom is just going to be really hard to pick that out so anyway that, that would be my suggestion everyone so we've collected um we've just pushed this one here you at the top you can push zoom in or zoom out so i only want to see this kind of bit because this is my image i'm going to use and then up the top they have all these you know little bits and pieces that you can use and if you can see at the moment the plus sign that means anywhere i push plus it's going to take the background away and that's what you want so if you can see it's already made that bit transparent and then the bit that it's actually going to be printing out will be you know this main kind of flower and things like that so because they've got squiggly lines in between every single one you need to get rid of the background um, so that it's going to cut just around the lines that we can see um, and you know I know you're going to think oh no it's going to be so hard to pick it and yes it is but um, you know if something's worth doing it's worth doing well isn't it so you know I'm just going to go around and just take out any little bits that I don't want out of the background make sure you don't forget in between the little letters as well because that can actually make it really really tricky we might actually leave the letters in the first go and I'll see how this is going to go and I'll show all of you um, how amazing this is actually going to be going to look so and then you can like just push the plus so that you can see closer in so if you can see this and then you know push the plus at the top again it's just zooming in and out that's all but that way you'll be able to see exactly what you want and if you want one bit to be you know really bold then just don't um, use the minus tool um, and the same as that in the 2001 I did need to take that out as well um, the same as these particular um, bits here these are just a part of what I actually do so I'll leave these in but maybe in the middle you know you could take that out if you don't want the whole middle section in it just like that um, but you know if you don't want the whole thing you can just scrub the whole thing out as well like there is actually I'll show you this bit is an eraser and so for the eraser you can literally just go in here and take out anything you don't want so if I decide there's any letters I don't want um, we can take those out as well and then I will show you when we get to the end bit as well how easy it really is um, and so once again like I said in her little lips and things like that I'm going to just take all of this out because I want it to be a really really neat cut so my suggestion is do zoom in so then you can see everything but when I get to the next screen I'll show you and it will actually show us exactly what it's going to look like so if there's something we're not happy with we don't need to worry because it's going to show us the whole bit and like I said just don't forget in between all of the letters so let me just go in here and I will concentrate and um do all those letters like I said even in the little e there's a little bit we want to cut out so I'm going to zoom in a bit more just so that I can make sure I'm getting all the bits out that I don't need and in the a we'll cut out the background of that one and I'm happy with that but even down the bottom my little symbols of Australia and so on would need to be cut out um, because this bit here at the bottom is going to be really tiny letters we'll have a go and see what this looks like um, but you've got to remember too if I'm doing something really small um, so like I'm going to do only a small section on something I'm doing so you don't want to have the whole thing uh, you know the whole background just looking crazy so uh, we'll see we'll see how that's going to work out and like I said I'm almost finished so I'll just I'll stop talking while I concentrate on this pop some music on and show you the next bit all right i think i'm ready to go to the next bit and i will show you so then we just push continue and if you can see this bit here this is telling us this is what it's going to look like when we cut it and if you can see these little bits here that i haven't picked up that means we just want to go back and pick them up this one's if you want to print it and then cut it but we don't want to do that i just want to cut this to make it a silhouette so i'm just going to go back 
and just there's a couple little dots um around her face here so i'm just going to get the eraser and um, make sure i just zoom and cut anything in here that it didn't sort of pick up before and that's only because i've taken away the little leaves that were in here and um so now we'll go back and see if we like it and you can see it's taken everything away from that now so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say yeah we want to do this one we want to cut it so we'll upload this and it's going to put it back onto my computer so then we're going to choose yep that's the one i want to choose insert the image in because this is the screen you know this is basically what it's going to look like and on here if you can see this i don't know whether you can see how it's like a little bit messy around the establish 2021 um, and so like any of these bits here are going to affect how this is cut out so we might actually have to go and say you know like if you have a look it does look a little messy so i guarantee this is not going to be a clean cut 100 percent, this will not be um, but i'm going to cut this just so that we can actually see exactly what this is going to look like and then your width and your height so you just want to check how, you know how high we want this to be so just for this because it's just a demonstration isn't it we'll just say 10 um so this is going to be um in centimeters so it's not going to be hugely big but it will be big enough won't it for us to see and then you can you know make it bigger or smaller so this is up the top here size it means the width of it and the height which this is basically a square um just because of the way i've done this one so anyway from now like i said we're going to actually make this and once it says make it, the computer is going to ask me to pop everything into uh, my CreCut machine. So we'll just turn on the switch on CreCut. And for any of you that don't know about CreCut, there is actually um, there is actually some bits to the CreCut on the side of the machine. So I'm going to go and show you that. And then these are the bits that we need to um, make sure we're, we've set put the settings at the right setting. So let's go and I'll show you that bit so here is the settings everyone if you can see those settings up nice and close and so if you're going to be doing vinyl like i've got it on a board because i would have made a board the last time but there's different ones so you're just going to turn this dial and if you see the little dot here we're going to turn that to vinyl and then that is literally going to be cutting the vinyl sometimes vinyls um, don't cut as well but because i'm using a cre-cut vinyl it should cut it exactly how it's meant to so you can see i've turned it on i've set it up and basically once the machine is ready this little uh, dot with the um, arrows here i'm going to pop the paper in here and then push this here and that will insert it into the machine and so on so i'll leave this um footage so that you can see me actually popping this bit on and how the process works so let's go and cut it and see exactly how it's going to turn out so from here i'm just going to um print it so on the um the screen it will say make it you just push uh the word make it which is at the top and the machine's going to try and do it so now the machine is saying to me get your paper and pop it all in so let me just grab this bit so obviously i have um the mat that i was talking about before i'm sorry if it's a bit noisy because i know it is and we're just going to pop it in the grid on the mat and then this is literally all we're going to do we're going to sit it in here and then this is going to say yep let's make it so i'm just going to push continue on the screen on the screen honestly is really easy and pretty straightforward um to understand and if you can see this flashing here this little button all i'm going to do is i'm just going to hold this here and then basically it means it's just dragging it in so make sure this is all nice and smooth and then we're going to push the c which means cut it and then the machine is going to figure this out and do its job so it's going to start cutting it straight away so do make sure this is all lined up and it is going to cut the tiniest tiniest bits this is going to be really small and delicate so we will see but it's always good to do a small one just to see if you like it before we do anything else and like i said then i will actually cut this bit out and i'll show you exactly what it's going to look like um for this one you know 10 centimeters is pretty small so i'd probably maybe next time do it a bit bigger so you know i'll sort of get my uh ruler or whatever and see how big i want it on this screen but like i said for this purpose i thought we'll do a small one just so i can show you 
and it will take time you know so give it a bit of time to do its little job and we'll just let it cut and I'll speed this bit up for you guys so you don't have to watch because this can take a few minutes because this is quite a complex design that I've actually got on here So I've just had a look on my actual paper that I'm doing or my board that I'm doing. So this is the board. So if I want it to come halfway, that'd be roughly 15 centimetres. Because um, like I said, 10's tiny as anything. And I do 100% know the letters at the bottom will be too small for this, but that's okay. I mean, if you want to, you know, you could literally do a whole one if you want it on the backing. But I just wanted this to kind of sit in that corner. Um, so we'll see what we think but you know we might actually even decide to take a lot of this away and we might decide just to like I said do the lady with her flower head um, because that is the main um, symbol for you know what I'm doing with the conference but it's a great way to show all of you you know how you can actually use this you don't have to use printable vinyl you can also just do an image if your logo you know was a big letter a or you know you had an apple or whatever your logo was you could definitely use this and pop it onto things um you know even transparent um you know just plastic or something if you try to make a sign you could definitely make a sign with things like this as well so and these machines do so much this is um this one here is not the top of the line one this is the medium one there's one um above this one as well but uh, I think I paid maybe 500 but honestly, it was so worth the money. Really, honestly, worth the money. Um, and I've used it a lot, and I have saved a lot of money on labels because I make all my own labels on this one as well. But like I said, we'll, we'll see exactly what it's going to do. And I can see how tiny the little cuts are here, and it's because it's trying to do all the letters um, and so on. But like I said, you know, you can get your design and cut things out as well. Um, it takes time to make sure, you know, you've got it exactly how you want it to be. So now you can see that it's actually pushed itself out and then this little button here is flashing and all you're going to do is push on that button and it will release it from here and I'm not sure whether you can actually see um, if you can actually see the lady in the background so how it's sort of cut her out a bit so that's what it's going to look like and then we're going to cut it out but I can see these letters are so tiny they will never come up clear enough and um the same as some of the other things so i think when i do this again i will actually make this bit here bigger and i'll take the writing out here and i'll take the writing out here um and just make it a little bit bigger so this is 10 centimeters so maybe we'll do next time will be 15 but that's exactly how you do it so i'm going to try and and then you just peel it off here so all you're going to do is just peel the um, vinyl off the top of the board and be careful not to get just the front you want the backing off it as well um, and then all I do is cut the main section off so I'll just peel it off it's actually quite hard to get it off so let me grab some scissors and I'll show you um, exactly how I'm going to do all of this as well So we've just cut this little piece off here, which this bit here has the lady, if you can kind of see that little bit there. Um, and then that has her face and so on. And all we would do then is just start to pick off um, the main bit. I'm just doing this so I can show you, but usually you would put this on a table. You're just going to peel off the front piece here. And then if you can see, it's picking all of this up, but usually it would leave a lot of this down. Like if you can see the leaf and things like that. Um, and we'll see if we can get lots of that out. But And basically, it's going to just do some of the flowers. So let me uh, spend a little bit of time and I'll pick this little bit off. And then I will actually come back and show you exactly what this bit looks like. And we'll put it onto the sheet. 
Hey everyone, I thought I would do just my little voiceover on this bit here. So what I actually did, I decided that it was way too small, the one that I had. And then I actually have made this one, which is about 15 centimetres in height. Um, and then I've just redone it exactly the same as I showed you at the start. And the tool that you can see that, me, that I'm using right now, this is actually just a picking tool from the Cricut um, makers. And basically you just buy them from your local hardware store or or you know your hobby kind of store i got these in australia from a store called spotlight they're about 29 dollars for a set of three or four and at the very start um you can see that i what i do is i actually just use a tool to um kind of like smooth down anything because obviously when it cuts little bits may be sticking up you want it smooth as you can so most of it sits down and then all i'm doing here is literally picking off the inner parts that i don't want so for instance on the leaf um i just want the stem of the leaf and then the little vein that runs through the stem to stay and then the middle bit I want that to remove because that way when you're putting it on a board whether it's like a blackboard a clear board any board you want to put it on or, or any item you're just removing all the other bits you don't really want in there and leaving the main um, portion as I did say this one that I'm making is honestly a really complex um you know sort of silhouette that i'm using um and you know the more complex the more fiddly the more harder it is and it does take time but this was just really a practice and to see what i thought because um of the conference that i'm having i'm sort of deciding do i just have boards with the name on it or not so um i don't need to make boards at all for it but i just thought this would be a great way for anyone to write information that they want down on the day but you know considering how long it took me I may actually just pay a company to um, laser print some out and whatever but if your design is a lot more simple or just letters definitely I would say you know um, do it yourself on the Cricut if you can because it does it all itself you know you just need to put in these few things but once you've done one or two of these you'll feel um, like it's so easy and it is easy it's just it just seems so complex at the start but honestly all it is is just creating your uh, main image and then letting Cricut do the rest and then just picking out any bits that you don't want and you'll see as well when I show you the end result, the, the flower at the top that I've done, it just has very, very fine, thin lines on the flower. Um, and, you know, it's because it's trying to sort of replicate petals within the flower and just with a modern kind of twist. So that's what actually takes time. So I had to, we it's called weeding. Um, and so this, what I'm actually doing is called weeding and weeding means just picking all the bits out. Um, so yeah, it just took so much time because of that. But I'm sure you'd agree that the end result is really worth it. And whether you're making like a birthday gift, a special candle or something, you can put these on candles if you have a customer that wants something in particular they might want their name um you know something printed like this in vinyl maybe that would be an option for you as well but anyway like I said that's just something that you know you can kind of work around as long as you know the font that they have and so on and then you might be able to even create something like this like I said for for your business or somebody else's business so anyway I'll let you watch um like I said this little bit um which I've fast forwarded for you guys and just done a voiceover and that way you can see it does take a bit of time and um definitely lots and lots and lots of patience but Anyway, I was really happy with the end result when I made uh, my design a little bigger. And next, all I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to actually um, make something with, you know, and it will say like Australian um, Supery and Conference um, and Candle Conference in sort of in the lettering that I'm using and the font that I'm using. And I'm going to give that one a go next time to see what I'm thinking of that but I thought, look, I'll give you guys a video of me making something because you all seem to really enjoy me um, showing you how I do it. And I do like to give away my tips and secrets. And that way you guys can all be um, just as successful um, as, you know, as I've been. Um, and to, you know, as I always say in my videos, don't, don't expect too much um, too fast because you know just slowly go along and your business will succeed just give it some time and um find some tricks to make yourself a little unique anyway look how gorgeous it looks i've done that bit now 
So now that we have actually got all of um, our design ready, all this is, I'm putting over the top, it's just a piece of contact. So Cricut have it, or you can just buy a roll of the cheaper contact, which is what I do. And then what this actually does is allows it to stick to this and that way you don't have to pick it off individually and you can just place the whole thing on here. So literally what you do is you want everything to stick to this piece of contact or sticky paper. Then we're going to peel it off the main sticky paper. And once that's done, then we can just literally place it onto the board. So make sure your board is really clean. Just wipe it down with some paper towel first so there's no dust or anything. And you can see how I just peeled it straight off that as well. And now I'm just facing it to you so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm literally just going to put this nice and smooth, make sure it's smooth no lumps or bumps and just rub it over the top and make sure it's as smooth as it can be um, I just use this tool to make sure all the bits that we want sticking down are because then we're going to remove the plastic sheen off really really slowly and slowly you'll see the design stick to your board or your container or whatever you're doing um, on that container and they really will look just amazing once it's actually been done but I'm sure you can agree how cute it looks. And this one has just come up really, really fabulous. So I hope you can see it on screen because it is a Perspex kind of folder I'm using. But look how lovely that looks and looks so professional. Um, and it's ready to go. All done. All right, everyone. So I have finished. So here is the end result. It's really hard because it's a Perspex to try and give you, um, you know, just to hopefully you can see that. Um, but it does, I'll hold it nice and close. But this is basically what it looks like. It looks really beautiful. 100% you guys are going to say, oh my goodness, so much work for that one little thing. And it was. But if you have a look, my design is extremely complex. And that's why it takes a long time. But if your um, logo isn't as complex, you can do this nice and easily. But I mean, look how professional that looks. You know, if you uh, um, wanted that particular look or say I did, you know, Nelson Soapery one, then of course, you know, and I was giving these away, it would look really professional and it would look like it's actually labeled and um, promoted for my business, you know. So rather than just having a plain old cheap $3 one, this one will look more like what I want. I will do a bit of playing around with this and I may um, take off the bottom of the leaf and just have the lady. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet or whether I will simply just keep the lettering. Um, but anyway, I thought it was a great idea to show you guys because a lot of people do ask me how do you actually use a cree cut and this is one way to use it there is so many different ways but this is if you want your silhouette and you're not going to use your printer at all you're literally just going to use the cree cut and the cree cut will actually cut whatever um, you put up there so if it was a picture of a car or a dragon or whatever it would do the same thing so anyway, hopefully you've loved um, how I've shown you how I've actually created this little bit and it's given you more of an idea on how you can actually use um, a Cree Cup. If you think my video is worthy of a thumbs up, make sure you give me one of those and I would love to see you guys making all these gorgeous things. And if you're thinking of coming to our conference, um, make sure you go onto my website. Um, remember, it is not the same website as the Nelson Soapery. I'll put the link in the bottom of this video for you and um, then you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, if you just want to see how what we're doing with that as well, click on the link and you can sign up to the newsletter. It's totally free and you'll just see all of the uh, emails and stuff like that coming in. But I will keep talking about that as we go along and I'll take you to some of my um, visits along the way because I'm working with a number of people and I will also be um, working with some florists and some things like that and that's going to be so much fun um, to show you guys all around it and how um, you actually set up like events and things like that because um, that's basically what I'm doing isn't it anyway thanks so much everyone and um, for listening and I am so sorry once again that I'm a bit lazy lately and you haven't seen a lot of me but uh, I will get up to it soon. I've got quite a few things that um, I'm doing for a new supplier I'm working with. So you will see me doing lots and lots of um, rose and botanical things, which will be soaps and bath bombs and candles and some absolutely gorgeous things. So anyway, stay tuned and I'll show you how I'm doing that. But I will see you on the next video. Stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.